Disclaimer, the potential clips used in this video is being used under the Fair Use Act of Section 107. These clips are being used primarily for comedial effect. No monetary gain is being made from these. All rights are reserved and the clips belong to their original owners. Thank you and enjoy. I'm happy about it, so I'll be happy to present it to you. Alright, let's get started. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so before we start, I just want to make a quick cut here and I'll see you guys in a second. Right, okay, sorry about that. Um, I was checking the recording because the last time I tried to record this in the skirmish, it was stuttering a little bit, so I don't know if it's still bad or not. I'll have to proper review it at the end of the session, but it seems to be okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Right, so first of all, this is the hub. I'll just wait until she stops talking. is lightly armed commander but what it lacks in firepower and armor it makes up in speed and mobility i'm sure you wish the centurion was repaired and ready to go for this particular mission though the javelin is the mech best suited for the job and hey it has jump jets they could come in handy <laughs> yep try, Rihanna, but i'd still rather have the centurion well can't blame a girl for trying <laughs> It's that just javelin's actually pretty decent. Right, so basic controls. This game works on a throttle system. So you press W to move forward and you move press S to reverse back. If you look at the top left hand corner where your minimap is, see how I'm moving the legs? Well your HUD, your top bit, the torso bit, is separated from your legs. So you move forward. I looked right. Fortunately, it doesn't, you know, work like you know straightforward. It's kind of like tank controls. Think of that. Um, F1 to F4 is your lance lance commands, but fortunately we haven't got a lance right now, so I can't uh, demonstrate that. The numbered keys on the right hand side where your number pad is, they're your automatic cruise control. Think of it. So if you press like nine, for example, that's maximum throttle automatically. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, if you don't want to manually, you can just go automatically, I guess. Uh, if we go to weapon controls, this is important. Um, you can group different weapons together. Now, the the benefits to this is to, obviously, heat management. But also, every weapon has a specific range. So, for example, if you look at the bottom right, where it says range, it says 270. If I move up... You know how it's yellow? It means that we're currently out of effective range and the chances of it hitting is near enough zero. So, it's pretty good. So, um, if it's on a 1, left mouse button. If it's on a 2, right mouse button. And 3 and 4, as far as I'm aware, is the thumb buttons on the side of the mouse. Or you can just press the, the relative keys or the relative numbers on the keyboard itself like that. And it'll fire it, and every weapon has a cooldown. But I believe the heat management skill affects the weapon cooldown. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started, and let's officially start this game. Also, I'm not too sure about the actual smoothness of it. I tell you what, so give me a second. I'll be back in a sec. All right, folks. Sorry about that. Right, so I've messed around with a couple of the actual uh, graphic settings. We should be smooth now. That's what I'm hoping. Right, so anyway, enough messing around. Let's get started. Alright. Hmm. Find me if you heard that. Generate uh, I had a big tea tonight. So I'm gonna have a bit of wind. Nah, I'll tell you one thing, this game this game is really, really cool. Oh, by the way, space bar. Jump jets. <laughs> I love it. Also, the E button um, gives you a target. 
up so beast of battle map if you want it up yeah there's a targeting thing as well that helps you with aiming and if you press e like here oh it has to be a good closer i think we can uh type oh no it's r pardon it actually helps with um, aiming So anyway, the first mission we just got a bunch of tanks to deal with. So um, just kind of go. So if you just automatically, automatically, alternative fire, alternate fire with your two medium laser groups, it'll be enough to take care of the surrounding enemies. You can also use the mouse wheel button to zoom in as well. So that's cool. Also, you don't want to stick around for too much because if you stand still. The shots can uh, hit you a lot more often, so you just want to keep moving to the best degree. But apart from that, it's just a simple destroy mission. That's it, really. So yeah, it's pretty fun, actually. Pretty, pretty fun. Okay. Oh, yeah, shit. Okay, is that on the targets? Nope, because we've got the VTOLs to deal with. There we go. Oh, stuck. Right, let's head to the next waypoint then. So yeah, I really love the soundtrack of this game. The soundtrack is amazing. Also, I love jump jetting as well. Oh, flying the jump jets is pretty cool. <laughs> Show it on, Jerry, old boy. I'm going to Okay, there's the geothermal power plants up ahead. There's a number of storage oh. around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Come on. Once you locate the storage crate, more oh, we've got one behind us. That gas guy. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Empty. Roger that. Right, so the first crate is in here to the left hand side. We should know because I would... There we go. Yeah, right here. Also, the cool thing about this game is you can just walk through stuff. That's so cool. Obviously, be careful what you're walking through because if it's explosive, it'll actually deal damage. I learned this um, in the first recording attempt. Right, anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah, no worries. Sometimes these op these optional objectives give um, more C bills, if I remember rightly. So better to destroy them where you can. There we go. Is that the last one? Or do we have one behind us? I think we got one behind us, right? Do we? Oh yeah, up there. There we go. Right, for further ado, let's keep moving. God, I can't wait to use Centurion. Centurion's so cool. Um, I'm looking forward to using my Ryan 1K. Or was it the 1V? What did I use? Was it the 1V or the one the one V won it? Yeah. Can't wait to use my Ryan 1V. I miss that mech. So many good memories. Anyway, I think we can get from here actually. Yes we can, so we don't have to uh we don't have to go in. Oh, no, I think we're just out of range, aren't we? Yeah we are. Have a knife. Nope, we're in range now. I think the maximum range is 500 meters or so, I think. Yeah, see, we're out of range still, just moving a little bit. There we go. And that one. Perfect. Awesome. Although we do have something on the left hand side, but is it up there? Must be. Oh, but look at that though. Eh? That's so cool. I really do love the uh, the landscape in this game. Yeah, that's the second one. Well, the okay, second salvage. I'm gonna have to head. 
Do we have... Oh, behind us. Shit, yeah. Jump. Whoa, not that way. Yeah, see, that's the one you got to be careful with. There we go. Right. No, where is this other one? Should be... Yeah, it's up here to the left. Oh, just up here. Let's go dink up. Oh, let's collect some. Bussing up in your house last CJ from San Andreas. Nah, we're just going to the extraction zone. No point sticking around. Let's use the javelins high speeds and get us out of here. Although there is an I think there is a objective to destroy something if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, the cool thing about... There we go. Okay, torso twist, torso twist. I just noticed we're getting some damage on the arms here. That's fine. Right, come on then. Let's bust into here. Or not. Because the cool thing is, you don't have to waste weaponry. You can just jump on it like so and... And just destroy it this way. I do like doing it this way. I think it's so cool. <laughs> oh, it's just so much fun. Destruction! So cool! It's walking through him. There we go. Yep, no worries, run away. Okay, let's double. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, let's just get out of here. We do have um, quite a bit of tanks to deal with, but we should just be able to get straight to the HD vac point with no problem, I think. To be honest with you. So yeah, so really, the more you move, the better. We are now anyway. Unless we get shot in the back, which I hope we don't. <laughs> Not worry. There we go. Also, a cool thing about the leopard as well, if it'll happen. Yep, the leopard actually covers you, which is pretty cool. Yeah, just out of range. Right, there we go. First mission done. So yeah, not bad. Um, it did actually take me a while to get used to the uh, the movement mechanics. <laughs> it did. So I mean, in terms of like what kind of mech I'm gonna use. I don't actually bloody know. <laughs> I think I'm more in line of using the light mechs, I think. Well, we'll see. So anyway, mission complete, reputation progress, one out, you know, this here. So pay out, pay out 350,000. Cool. Alright, so now we can choose our... We can choose our... What should we call it? Salvage. Um, hmm. So we've got a bunch of medium laser tier ones. Uh, do you know what? Let's get some flamers actually. Let's get a variety. Flamers. Get a machine gun. Get a couple of S lasers, and I think we'll just pick up one more medium laser there. Cool. So yeah, so that's what I mean by you get skills as you are you know, just using it. So because our javelin has lasers, we get a bit of experience towards the laser skill and we get a a, uh, an upgrade or a level up to our evasion skill. So it's pretty cool. So, yep, so 14 total kills, one area, one air unit, sorry, three turret, 10 vehicles, zero mech, 46 damage taken, 352 dealt. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice work, Commander. We're able to recover the materials we needed from that Raider cache, and Farhad has already started to prepare us to the Leopard and Centurion. Made a happy, ha very happy man, though. I doubt he'll admit it. Okay, cool. 
Right, so now we need to speak to Farhad, so we need to return to Hangar. Which is cool, because we don't need to mess around then. We can just get teleport straight here. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stars in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now if there's nothing else, gonna get back at it. Alright, a lot of work to do. Story of my life. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah, I know things are a little darker than before, that's because I just lowered the graphics, so... It's... I'm just trying something out in terms of the recording, so... It should be alright, because this game is very, very... Not very friendly on the recording side, let's say. Um, so for those who are using OBS, um, a little hint I could give you, or a piece of advice. Change your encoder to either... A NVIDIA one if you have a NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD if you have a Ryzer, Razer AMD graphics card I think and choose your bitrate to 6000 because that's supposed to be the smoothest for high motion games like this and racing and stuff racing games and stuff just a, a little bit of a piece a little bit of advice from one YouTuber to another right so Javelin needs some repairs that's fine we'll just do the basic repairs and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so let's go back. Now, um, the only way to advance the timeline, you have to go to... Oh no, we can speak to Rhino. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Give me a sec. So, uh, it's not like Battletech where you just click a button and you just let the days roll by. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Instead, it works as a timeline mechanic. But anyway, we'll explain about that in a sec. While you were planet side. I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're going to have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. If things go well, they've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent well, I'll say a drink. to the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. All right, cool. I'll see you on the other side. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to do the next thingy first, but we need to go to the home screen. And we need to go to the timeline because we need to repair the javelin. So this is how you do it. You go to timeline, you just go next event, which would be this. And there you go. Simple. So the javelin's now done. Let's do the next mission. June 4th, 3015. Com 1B, Commander 1B, unveiled by Coventry Metalworks. It's kind of weird. I thought the Commander 1B was already in effect by the 2018 or whatever. April 18th, 3015. Marek Rebellion leadership surrenders to Jano. Yeah, we already read this bit. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go to a few transmissions. The mining company's settlement is vulnerable to radio attack, Commander. So we got to protect it. I'll drop you in at safe distance. Once on the ground, head there and defend it. Should be a simple in and out mission. But no plans to fire contact with the enemy, as the saying goes. So be prepared for whatever comes. Good luck. Cool. There you go, contracts. The mining company Selman's vulnerable to reader attack. So once you got so you gotta protect it. Once in the ground, head there and defend it. Should be simple in and out. Okay, so let's see so we have one negotiation. Uh let's go for salvage again. Yeah, salvage. Salvage. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Visibility reduced. Guess so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then. let's get let's get started and let's go then. Hmm, okay. So, I might do this mission and leave it there, we'll see. 
See what we got to do. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. I love this loading screen of you just... I originally thought... I thought you actually got into your mech, but... Watch the last loading screen, but it's better than nothing. All right, we need to move. I think I'll just leave on... Uh... There we go. I'll leave on cruise control right now until we can uh, get to the location where we need to go. And then I'll manually take over once we get there. There is also um, a walk information speed, which is your G command. Uh, I've done a lot of G keyboard shortcut thing. And you'll move that half movement. But we need to get to the base because the base is already under assault. That's the problem about these defense missions. It's not like you start by there and then the waves happen. Oh, no, no, no. They're already in effect. Well, anyway, let's see what we can do. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and interested in the videos. And leave a comment. What's your favourite part of the video? I would love to know. There are links if you're interested. One to my most recent upload if you would love to see what I'm currently doing. One to the playlist if you want to catch up or watch from the beginning. And finally, one to the channel to browse my other videos. Whatever you choose, please have a great day. And I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.